with the Sea Wolves and Arrows about to collide. They met back in mid February. It was Seattle that prevailed by five. 35 30 in that one. Arrows are going to need some redemption here. They five minutes in, you have to take points when the opportunity presents itself. And that is exactly what Toronto is going to do, especially with the wind at your back. They'll be playing into it in the second half. Fifth leading score. Now 103 points this year in Major League Rugby for Malcolm. Number. Can the Arrows remain disciplined on offense? Same question okay. for Ryan Seattle here on defense. Can that seawall emerge here in Ontario? Able to find a crack, looking to dot it down. Shepard is in. Beautiful ball, Shepard, a fantastic run. Barrels through, does the big lock. The first try of the match extends the arrow's lead. Mike Shepard puts a five spot on the board. Take another look. Shepard, a great ball found him, and there's just no way that Matt Turner is going to be able to stop him one on one that close to the line. It's 260 against a buck 90. How will this play out? Five, five. Arrows back inside the 22. Oh, well placed. One man to beat. Seawolves not conceding the five just yet. And there's your second try of the match. All 13 points today belong to Toronto. It was just a matter of time. A great line coming off. Good work from Toronto, extends their lead. Now 13 to nothing for the home team. It's so important to come out in the second half, strike first. Toy, a fantastic run, rolls over, looking for that line. And the support gives the arrows the first try of half number two. And you see the change in scrum half. Barton comes on for Seattle. Zuniola sidesteps, eyes the try zone. Seawolves on the board for the first time today. Shalom Suniola making things happen, looking for the comeback. Much needed by the Seawolves and Shalom Suniola doing it on his own. Able to shake and bake, eludes would-be tacklers. And across and in for the first points. Quickly fraying it up. And that's where you appreciate those hands of Rob Brower a moment ago. Indeed. Not always easy for the big men to recover. Off to the races. Slipping into gear. The captain, Dan Moore, to the rescue. And what a run, what a try from the captain Moore, the Toronto native. Looks like he was going to go inside, able to step Turner and turned on the Jets. A huge try for the Arrows. And you see the response, the emotional response from Moore. Look at it right here. Just got to Turner, found the extra gear. Turner, unable to keep up with him. Arrows growing confident they may have a winning streak. The initial dummy buys some extra time. Inside five meters now. How about a brace for the captain? Thank you. They'll free it up. Shepard. Okay. The arrows have it their way. Paul Salini, the fourth man to enter the try zone today. The arrows have their bonus point. And you've got to imagine that is going to do it. Just six minutes remaining. The try and the bonus point. The big lock rumbles across to dot it down. What a performance, a complete performance by Toronto. You take another look at the Tribe. One of our keys for the Arrows, no lapses. They had to play the full 80 minutes, and they've done just that. The fans chanting one more try. Why not? They already have the try bonus. The win secured. Fans want to see some more points. It is now full time. Next time this ball goes in touch, five points will be added to the table 
for the Arrows. Winners of back-to-back -back here at home and a decisive victory against the defending champions here today. Toronto will take this one in front of the Ontario fans. Fantastic yeah, win from play. the well Arrows. A complete game performance. Did what they wanted to do from the opening whistle. Rewarded with the win. And the try bonus is five points. Will find themselves on the Toronto side.